Hi, I'm Steve, and welcome to Keithley Briefly. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of different temperature measurement devices, the thermocouple, RTD, and thermistor. First we're going to start with the thermocouple. Uh, this is two dissimilar metals that are sort of spun together at the tip to create a voltage drop at certain temperatures. Some of the pros of using the thermocouple are that you typically have a very wide temperature range. They tend to be very cheap, and they're very durable. You also have a very fast response time with thermocouples. Some of the cons are that they tend to be very low accuracy and they tend to have low stability. Um, typically, if you see this symbol in a circuit diagram, that indicates a thermocouple. An RTD, on the other hand, is a device that measures the resistance change in a calibrated metal resistor. Um, so a typical version of, a of an RTD, excuse me, would be a PT100, which is a platinum wire that's calibrated to be at exactly 100 ohms at zero degrees Celsius. Some of the advantages are that these tend to be very accurate and very stable. However, they have a slow response time. Lead resistance error can be a big factor since you're typically dealing with lower resistances with RTDs and smaller resistance changes, about somewhere about 500 milliohms per degree C. Um, and they tend to be very expensive, um, particularly because of this lead resistance error the two-wire, three-wire, and four-wire RTDs are available to deal with that, um, and as the wires go up, the price tends to go up as well. Then there's thermistors, which are similar to RTDs, but rather than using a metal wire, they use polymer ceramic resistors instead. Um, these tend to be relatively cheap, very sensitive, and very accurate. Um, in terms of the sensitivity, whereas RTDs are in like the milliohms per degree C, uh, RTDs, or thermistors, excuse me, tend to be hundreds thousands of ohms uh, per degree C. Uh, however, they tend to have a very low range of temperatures available, um, usually up to about 150 degrees C. Anything higher than that, you'll have to go to an RTD or a TC. Um, for thermistors, there are positive temperature coefficient and negative temperature coefficient types, where the PTCs will increase in resistance with increasing temperature, and the NTCs will decrease in resistance with increasing temperature. All right, so that's a quick overview of thermocouples, RTDs, and thermistors. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact Tronics Technical Support. We'd be happy to help.